Welcome back to bazookatraining.com here in the home workout section. Today, we're focusing on hand pins, framing. It's a little difficult because we don't have a partner, but it's very important that you visualize this concept because it's gonna help you a lot, okay? So it's almost like clinching, right? We don't have someone, but understanding what you're controlling, how you're gonna control things is gonna really help you out and really increase your IQ. Okay, so let's get into today's workout. So the first technical round, we're gonna focus on different ways to use hand pins and frames. The first one we're gonna do is more of a longer style frame, okay? So when you're moving around and you're maybe throwing your combinations, you have to visualize your opponent coming at you, okay? So if you're on the outside, right, you might use a longer frame here. So you can see how I use more of a frame, push myself out, create the distance, okay? Because if someone's crashing at you, you hold them away and you frame, okay? So I use the frame here to kind of enter and I'm gonna most likely use an uppercut or a right hand so I can hit the body, okay? I could mix in an uppercut, but you're gonna notice when I exit, I exit out with that frame too, okay? It's gonna be a hand pin as well. All right, so the main difference, I'm going to interchangeably use the words hand pins and frame. A hand pin is more of pinning of the hand. So you'll see me kind of pinning by going this way to take the angle. A frame is more if I'm staying connected. You'll see here, sometimes if I'm head to head, I use a nice frame here. I'll use this long guard to create that space and then I could attack. Okay, so we're just using more of this long guard here to exit out. Okay, so thinking about more straighter arm here for this frame. And now even when I do it, I might come in here. See how I frame with this hand now to attack this side. Okay, now even in this round, I want you to visualize outside. So when I'm on the outside here, boom. On the inside, I'm going to use more of a bent arm here. Okay. So just as you guys keep going, just to give you an example, I'm going to pull Matt here. So if I have Matt here, I might use a long frame from here, bang, okay, here to here. And you'll even notice sometimes I'll pull the hand here, I could attack and then I exit out as well. If I'm fighting Matt on the inside, I might be here and switching hands, right? Or if I'm long, okay, versus inside. Okay, so that's the kind of movement you want to visualize, long, boom, inside. And I'm gonna interchange, right? So keeping them away, controlling them, hit, come inside, more of a bent arm, and move. And then I could adjust sides, bang. Okay, stay inside. Now when I use my rear side frame, you'll notice what I like about it is it already loads up so you can see a lot of good power that I can generate from my left side at that point, okay? So that is one of the first concepts that we're gonna work, okay? That long arm, long frame. Now. The other one we're gonna add now is more of this hand grabbing style, okay? So you're gonna notice we're progressing from longer to shorter to shorter, different types of concepts, okay? Now this one here, we're gonna work on grabbing and striking, okay? Now this works very well in MMA, but it works well with boxing gloves as well. Before we start to run, I'll just demo with Matt. If I have my fingers in MMA, I can grab here, right? And then from this position, I can Keep one grab and hit with the other, grab the other hand, hit the other. There's sometimes I grab both, attack, and I grab both. By grabbing the hands here, it works well. But even if I'm in here, I could just pin with my hand here, boom, bang, and just holding on to attack like that as well, okay? So that is kind of what we're working on in this round here. So now when you attack, just visualize either grabbing or kind of just pressing the hand in and then punch with the other hand. Grab one, punch with the other hand. Grab both, punch down the middle, grab again. So you're gonna constantly alternate grabbing the hand, striking with the other one, or pinning the hand, hitting with the other one. So you're always just mixing and matching. Now, in this first minute here, just practice on the grabbing concept. Grab, hit. I might grab, hit the change levels, hit. So the idea is I can control you, hit you, then by me holding and grabbing your hands and wrists, you're not able to counter back, right? So this is where I can control that mid-range. Too many times in mid-range, we sit there and we start attacking, but if I can feint, grab the wrists and still attack that way, it's beautiful. Now, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna mix in some of those frames with these hand grabs here. Now, you're gonna see how it comes together. So I could frame you, hit you, grab you, and attack you, okay? So again, I might come inside, use a different frame, attack here, grab the wrist, boom, punch through. So you're mixing frames and hand grabs, and this is how you start creating a system 
of hand fighting. You're always trying to control your opponent's hands. Now, this concept is more important when it comes in MMA because of the smaller glove and not getting hit is very important, right? Those small gloves, a little bit more damage. So again, I want you to mix in your strikes first. Okay? Frame, boom, whether it's a long frame or an inside frame, and then grab some wrists. Now you might even change up the concept. I might come here, grab the wrist first, grab the wrist first, then come into a frame and then long guard myself out, okay? So you're starting to put things together, right? We're gonna repeat that little sequence. I'm gonna throw some strikes first, bang, boom, set things up, right? For me to grab my opponent's hands, I have to make sure they're shelled up. If my opponent's hands are moving like this, I can't just go and grab them. I'm gonna get hit, I'm gonna get countered. So I need to throw some strikes, mix in feints, okay? And then as soon as my opponent, my visual, my imaginary opponent, puts their hands up, boom, I grab the wrist right away. Grab and punch, grab and punch, frame, boom, boom, boom. Exit with another frame as well, okay? Throw punches, grab the wrist, attack, grab the wrist, attack. Boom, from here, long guard your way out, okay? You might wanna come in, frame yourself on the inside, grab the wrist so you avoid counter shots, boom. Exit out, keeping nice and strong, okay? Now, the last one is gonna be one of my favorites, and I'm gonna use Matt again to demo it so you can see, but again, you won't have that partner at home. This is one of my favorites to get angles, the hand pin to angle. So if Matt's walking at me, I finally get him, I'm gonna hand pin to maybe just move around to safely take my angle. He comes again, I'll switch the other side. So it's a, it's a safe way of getting the angle, but the idea is I wanna strike. So I'm gonna hand pin angle, boom, and then I angle shuffle out. If I'm here, I'll angle out and attack. Now, when I go to my right, Okay, I can kind of jump out and stay in orthodox, okay? So again, he comes here, I hand frame, stay orthodox, or if you're more advanced, I might back step here. Now in southpaw, okay, now look what shot I have. Boom, I get to punch through the guard, okay? So this is your visualization here. Hand pin, boom, attack. Go to the other way, boom, attack. Now you don't always wanna go left and right, change it up. I might go two to the left here, boom and mix cross and uppercuts, circle this way. Remember, I can go southpaw, right? Boom, and switch stances. Or if I go to that right side, I can kind of stay in my stance, right? So I hand pin and I shuffle, okay? So I'll get the hand pin, take my quarter turn, and now I could punch through. But I'm using that hand pin because if I'm stepping here, most likely they're gonna throw that hook. So I pin that hand to them, I'm gonna open up to southpaw, bang. Boom, punch right through the guard, that's the key, okay? So that's using the hand pin now to get the angle. We're gonna go here for five more seconds. Remember, you can open up your stance one more time because this is the most important part, going to the right. I could hand pin, because I'm going to my right, I need to pin that hand. Boom, okay? See, still in my orthodox position. Or if I want, the pressure comes, open the door, and then I throw my attack. Now, just to end here, mix things together. That's the whole beauty of hand fighting. Mix, match, and play. So we can use our frames, boom, hand fight with punches, hand and angles, okay? Hand pins to angles, boom, boom. Grab the hands, attack, okay? I could even visualize blocking, countering, grabbing wrists, boom. Here, two hands, angled, boom, hand pin, bang. So your imaginary clinch hand fighting somebody. Now, when you mix this with a clinch, that's where the IQ comes even further, right? Because you might use hand fighting to get inside to clinch. Or you might use hand fighting just to stay, you know, defensively strong without your opponent being able to counter punch, okay? So a lot of good value in this. And a lot of times people think it's very difficult to work in this imaginary shadow box setting. But understanding the concept here is just going to help you out when you get your partner in front of you when you spar and it'll come out more naturally. All right, hope you enjoyed today's episode. We'll see you next time here at bazookatraining.com. Welcome to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA Online Training. I'm Bazooka Joe Veltolini, the owner here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Over the past year, I've designed and created a website to teach bazooka curriculum at home and across the world. The purpose of this website is for you to one, hit your fitness and health goals, all while learning world-class martial arts instruction from me. 
The beautiful thing about this website, it's geared for all levels. So if you're learning martial arts for the first time as a beginner, we help you progress into the bigger stages. And if you're a pro fighter, guess what? We have different fight concepts for you to improve your tool set and your skills in the ring or cage. As the fastest rising kickboxing world champion and a lifelong martial artist with over 30 years of experience, I've been able to combine my passion for martial arts and teaching to create this website. This website's gonna give you some of the tricks, secrets, and inside look at some of the training I use to win my world title. Once you subscribe to this site, you're gonna be getting weekly training videos and tutorials that you can do from anywhere. The sections are broken up into three parts. The first is bag workout. So if you have a bag at home or at your gym, you can use these workouts to supplement your training. The second is at home workouts. A lot of us don't have the room for a bag or a bag in general, so these workouts are for no equipment needed and you can do them anywhere. And finally, the tutorial section. If you're having any problems with a specific technique or fight concept that's covered in any of the workouts, go to the tutorial section, learn the technique, and then go back to the workout, and this time, do it with proper technique. One of the added benefits once you subscribe is the forum section, where you can get a more personalized experience where you can ask questions, and I'll be able to go in there and answer them. It's all about building a team and a community of martial artists helping each other grow. So subscribe now to get access to all the videos plus more so you can be part of the squad here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA.